Hey Virgo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see what the messages I have for you. This is the last reading for the night. I hope you're able to resonate with it. Spit what messages do you have for me to bring for Virgo? Inner Earth, activated Earth. Okay. You'll survive. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings, Virgo. You will survive this. Okay. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. So there's a there's somewhere where you're being led, Virgo. And plus, I got this star seed star, star seed energy at the bottom of the deck for you. Light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you. You have a double mission to serve the world, to follow your path, but also to help other people, guide people on their path as well. All right. Um, but right now, whatever it is you're going through, there's something heavy uh, in the energy. Uh, I put a couple of readings out tonight. Something is really bothering you, Virgo. Uh, I put that reading out earlier, um, but try a little tenderness, okay? The second reading I put out tonight is how are those you love really doing? But this is about what you're going through. This You, you, you probably are worried about a, a family member or, or a loved one in your life, and you don't know how to deal with it. But it's also whatever it is you're, you're doing is weighing you down. It's stopping you from living your life in, in, a, in a, a blissful way, okay? You'll survive this. You have some new solutions and beginnings in your life. And Spirit wants you to, to gr take a grasp, accept these new beginnings that's coming your way. Whether you're ready or not, beginnings are coming, all right? And definitely activated earth, power places. Maybe go somewhere, Virgo, to where you can... Um, Go to maybe walk through the park or something, but find a power place. I don't know if you live near like a salt mine or something like that, like um, some caves or something. It's something I'm hearing something about caves or something somewhere that helps or even care, making sure you're, you're having your crystals with you, uh, making sure you have your um, salt lamps near you, whatever it is that you need to boost your energy. Hold on one second. I just turned on my, just called, turn on my salt lamp. But definitely trust where you're being led. You're being led to a place of peace, a place of peace. And it's something too about, um, something about a power place. Go somewhere that's going to fully charge you. I know they have some sort of places that you can go to and sit in a, a room filled with uh, Himalayan salt. I don't know if maybe you can go to some sort of spa or something. Something to where you're taking better care of yourself, even if you go to church. Some kind of power place for you. Something that's going to help uh, replenish your energy, um, your, your spiritual energy. And also making sure, remember, you take your salt. Remember to take your salt baths too, Virgo. All right. Uh, two, making sure you're taking care of yourself and others. You know, uh, I think Jerry, Jerry Springer used to say that at the end of his show, take care of yourself and each other. That's what Spirit wants you to do. Take care of yourself first and then everybody else. All right. And then everybody helps take care of everybody. Okay. We have so much going on right now and the energy is so soaked and it's so sad. It's so intense. Okay. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. You have a rare gift. You've had this rare gift since you were a child. This is like a two-part read. You want to put that aside. Okay. We have Star Brothers, Horse, Energy, Protection, Loyalty, loyalty Safe, and Trust. So your energy is is protected virgo but you're it's like you're not making sure you're taking your spiritual bath making sure you uh sage your surroundings sage your, your body not not sage sage but making sure you're cleansing your body too um definitely something about you being really really low really really sad okay um but you've seen things since you were a child and to me that looks like a child Okay, right here, like a crawling child right there. And maybe you, you've, since you were little, since you were, you were seeing things, you were talking to spirits, somebody that, that, that nobody else sees and feels but you. Okay. And this is follows you until your adulthood, but it's been shut down. I think spirit wants you to prepare. Okay. For something that you don't see, you're going to be seeing. Everything is going to be clearly. I can, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Everything that's dark is going to come out to light. You're going to be able to see things more clearly, feel, feel things more clearly as well. It's like the, the world is going to open up. It's going to look so totally different to you, Virgo. Okay. When you finally open up those spiritual doors. All right. And even when you are a child, you begin to see things. Okay. Um, 
your inner child, even the inner child now that you've went through the things that you've healed. You went through some really tough shit when you were little to prepare you for, for this journey in your life, this half of your life here, okay? Spirit, Spirit wants you to, to treat yourself better, to treat your body better, to try a little tenderness for yourself that coincides with the reading I put out about something's really bothering you. And you have some rare gifts about yourself and you've had these gifts, Virgo, since you were a child. But it seems like these gifts are being covered up, you know, by what's going on in your uh, in your life right now. Um, you know, kind of like remember that song from back in the day, um, this little light of mine. OK, this little the song that we used to sing was this little gospel light of mine. Um, don't you try to poof it out is what we kids used to say, blowing out the candle, blowing out, you know, that light. There's something that has hindered you. There's something recently that has blown out your light, Virgo, blown out your candle. Somebody or something, you've allowed something or someone, even your inner fear to blow out your light. And the spirit is telling you to get that light back. Okay. Get that glow back about yourself. Okay. You're having dreams. Okay. Uh, some of you I'm hearing are having or have had some premonitions. And whatever you've dreamed about or whatever you heard, that still small voice, what is come true. All right. You're ready. Three is telling you that you're ready for this. You're ready to be enlightened. A lot of things are getting ready to be opened up to you. Learning how to be human in a world, but not of it. Okay. Wow. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. Cause you're on a different plane. Totally, totally on a different plane, Virgo. And I don't think you realize it. There are going to be some things that's going to come to you. Some experiences that are going to, that you, that you've already had. And they're going to remind you like, man, you know, I haven't thought about that in a long, long time. Okay. Uh, we have karmic relationships, orient, orient energy, the polarity, soul growth and conflict. So there are some things that you need to know. You need to let go of some people. Then you need to, to allow new people and newness to come into your life, Virgo. But it, it starts with you. This is this is your journey, not anybody else's. OK, it's like your higher self is saying, are you ready yet? Whether you're ready or not, here I come. OK, there's some lessons that you have had to learn, but you're pretty close to getting to where you need to be on this journey. And it's like your higher self is coming to get you, whether you're ready or not. OK, but I think you're ready. Maybe a little scared. A little scared, okay? But you can do this. You're ready for this. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Maybe somebody likes to dance. Maybe you always want to be a singer, a dancer, kind of like on Dance Fever. What's, what's the thing? The guy from Dance Fever, the host from back in the day, Danny Terrio or something. Maybe your name is Danny. Maybe your last name is Terrio or something, Okay. Maybe you have a Danny on the other side. <clears throat> Maybe you have a child that's Danny, and Danny or Danielle is is the golden child. They they are uh, that they have these spiritual gifts that you have. You've passed it on. We have baby steps. Okay, you take some baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Yeah, follow your intuition before it makes sense. You don't know. Like I said, you may not know everything you need to know about this this spiritual journey, Virgo, but it's, it's going to be a lot clearer when you get to where you're going, okay? And you're like, why am I on this journey? Why am I having all these strange dreams of, of enlightenment? Why am I seeing all, seeing all these signs and synchronicities, these geometric shapes when I close my eyes or when I dream? I'm dreaming about the afterlife. I'm, I'm even dreaming about, I'm hearing spaceships, time travel, all right? Fascination with time travel, all right? Maybe somebody here wants to be a makeup artist as well. You have a job, a job to do uh, that's going to pay you and a job that you do for spirit. There's a difference. Okay. But you know who you are. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection and community. Some of you uh, are true hermits. Every sense of the word you stay in. You don't really socialize a lot, but it's time for you to get out. Your higher self is saying, come on, what are you doing? Let's go out and check. Let's go out and have fun. OK, let's go out and meet some people. Let's go out and meet some like minded people, because when you get out there and you start uh, showing yourself a little bit more, you're going to find the people who are drawn to you. You're going to be drawn to them. These could be some beautiful uh, spiritual connections that's, that's coming your way. But you got to allow yourself to meet them. You got to open up. All right. 
you have got to open up, Virgo, and allow these people to come into your life. What other messages does Virgo need to know about this spiritual journey that they're on? Not everybody's going to understand your journey, Virgo. We got the void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Stop right now. Uh, because you're going through kind of like the dark night of the soul. You're going through a lot of things right now. You don't think this darkness is ever going, you're ever going to get through this. But you see that? There's hope right there. You have, if you have a faith the size of a mustard seed, Virgo, anything can happen. Because the closer and closer you get, the more and more understanding that you're going to gain. And the more and more light you're going to pass through. Okay? It's not going to be this way forever. Okay? It is not going to be this way forever. I remember so plain the faded life versus the destiny life. You want to remember some things, possibly, possibly for uh, the, the life that you have experienced already, the lives, those past lives. And some of you may be uh, dreaming about your past lives, being a, a pastor, being a medicine woman, being a seer in your life, being someone who mixed potions and mes medicines together. I'm hearing something about uh, maybe the Indian culture. Mixing herbs. Maybe you have too long braids, really long hair that you keep in braids. Uh, named after one of your ancestors as well. I'm hearing Laura or Gloria. Drink only water, only spring water. Lifting the veil, questioning everything and anything unlike anything that, that does not serve you, you got to let it go because you, you're, you're seeing the light. Remember when I said the, the closer and closer you get to the light, the brighter it's going to be. This light is going to be so much brighter. You're in the, the void right now. It's like you're in between two things at once, if that makes sense. You're in two places at one time, mentally and spiritually and physically. But everything is going to open up. You're going to finally open up. The world is going to open up. So you're going to see everything so much more clearly. When you finally take those blinders off and say, you know what, I am here for a purpose. There is something specific that I'm destined to do. You question everything, Virgo. Anything unaligned with you, anybody unaligned with you must step the fuck away. Because you're here for a clearer purpose. You're here to do something. It's your destiny to bring the light into somebody else's life. And you may not understand it. You may not want this assign I didn't ask for this. <laughs> you know, I've always been interested in tarot. I've always been interested in um, the afterlife, but I never thought in a million years that I would be delivering messages. I never thought about it. Okay. But you just never know. Um, you just never know where spirit leads you to, what spirit will, will lead you to do, to be interested in something, to Realize like, wow, you know, I really can do this. I really can communicate with the other side and pass those messages along. You never know. You know, it's like there's so many things that are coming to you. The light is going to shine so much more brighter, but it's not going to be blinding. All right. Final message. And we are all ready. Surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, and make love to life. Now, make love to life. And this is just saying you get out there, you put yourself out there. You're going to be surprised when you finally put yourself out there and be comfortable in the skin that you're in, Virgo, and not let that skin, not allow that skin to be thin to where everything bothers you. You're going to meet somebody. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. It could be anybody. But you're bringing people in your life who are vibing, who are vibing on the same level as you are. No more lower level, lower level Ill, uh, energy. I'm hearing no more lower level illnesses as well. Okay. You're going to see you're going to thrive better. You're going to look better. You're going to feel better once you let this energy go. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. I knew this car was going to come back out. Okay. I just put a, a uh, I literally said this to somebody in the comments to Anthony. So I hope Anthony, you're watching. Uh, Anthony commented on the last reading that I put out and in the comment section, I was, I was shuffling his card when I saw his, his comment. And so when he sent me his, his message, you know, um, I read, I told him exactly what the card said, you know, and I'm like, I knew it was going to come back out. So I hope he's watching this reading too, but yeah, definitely Anthony, this reading is for you, but forge don't follow 
Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had, Virgo. Be the leader. If nobody was there for you, if nobody attended to you and your needs, it's time for you to attend to your needs and everybody else's. All right. Yeah, be the leader you that you never wish you that you wish you had. Okay. Be the leader that you wish you had, but also be the leader you you wish you the other people were. They never were that leader to you. They treated you bad. Let it go. And it's time for you to forge something new. It's time for you to definitely see that light. Open up that. It's time for you to lift the veil on your spiritual gifts. All right. Talk to you later.